Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Marty. Um, so again, my name is Steve Frank. I'm with Unishippers. Uh, Unishippers, we're, we're very excited to be you know associated with and, and linked in with WePromo uh, to really offer the members uh, discounts on shipping. Not only just discounts on shipping with small package or LTL, but also being able to be your right arm uh, when it comes to shipping, handling your logistics for you, uh, giving you you know recommendations, pointing you in the right direction on certain things. There is a lot more to Unishippers than just lowering your price. Um, today's you know uh, meeting is really just a, a brief overview. Uh, there's much more to it, uh, and I'm excited to speak to any member who has any questions or wants to you know look at lowering your shipping costs. Uh, the main thing to remember is there is no cost, contracts, or obligations whatsoever. Uh, we are partner companies with UPS. We handle the sales channel for them on their small to medium uh, business uh, sales side. Uh, what we really try to do is help customers, businesses, small businesses like yourself, uh, achieve discounts uh, that you normally can't get because being a small business, your shipping volume just isn't, isn't there. You're not Apple, you're not Target, you know, people who are getting those really strong discounts. Um, so that's really where we come into play. We are a 3PL, so we're a third-party logistics part, uh, third-party logistics company. Uh, we're the exclusive and have only been the only company UPS has ever partnered with to handle a sales channel for them. We've been with them for 13 years, and we still have 10 more on our contract. They just renewed it. So you know, we, we've obviously been very uh, happy, and so has UPS with, with the partnership. Uh, one thing to remember too is if you're a current UPS customer, that does not mean I can't help you. Um, we still may be able to help you again because we are the exclusive sales channel. Um, it's something that we get approval from UPS, so it's you know we're not selling you on a different you know program or a different shipping company. It is all still the same. With the relationship, UPS handles all the operational side of things. Uh, it's still their trucks, their drivers. They pick up. It's their trusted network. Unishippers handles all the back end, the customer service, the invoicing, uh, everything else, the sales channel itself. So you're still you're still going to be shipping with UPS. Uh, again, if you are a current UPS customer, what we do is get you just a new UPS number that's tied to Unishippers, uh, because we're the ones that are offering the deeper discount, not UPS directly. Uh, one thing to remember is your direct UPS number never goes away. So as I mentioned, there's no you know commitment, contracts, anything. If you gave it a shot, you know if we were to demonstrate savings, and for whatever reason you didn't like working with Unishippers, you can still always just go back to shipping on your old indirect UPS account number. Again, you'll probably be paying more for shipping, but you know it's it, it's totally up to you. Um, we have really strong retention with our customers just because of not just, again, the discounts in shipping, but a lot of the value added services uh, that we could provide that I'll touch on you know, briefly. Uh, so here's just a few numbers on, on Unishippers. Um, this is a little bit outdated. So we're, we're over 100,000 uh, customers here in the US. Um, we're about 1.8 billion for, for revenue. We are franchises. Uh, so the nice part is here with this franchise, you know, I'm located in Connecticut. Uh, we handle the, the We Promo Group. You're working with a small business just like yourself. Uh, you know, I have a franchise owner that I report to. Other than that, we've got you know three or four on the sales and operations side folks. Then we have our customer service team. But when you call in, you're not calling into a $1.8 billion company where you're not gonna get that that small business touch, um, we do provide that. Uh, you'll have me as an account executive for you for anything you need. I also have my customer service team, which sits in Vermont. Um, they handle just our franchise. So again, you're not calling into major call centers. Uh, currently, if you're with FedEx or UPS and there's a problem, you gotta call an 800 number, sit in a rotary for, to be a half an hour. Somebody somewhere in the world is gonna pick up, but they're not gonna know your situation as a promo member. They're not going to know your location as far as where you are in the States and, and how, you know, the Northeast is different than the Southeast, uh, you know, and so forth. 
Um, so again, it's you really get that one-on-one -on -one small business touch, but we have the buying power and the connections of a very large $1.8 billion customer, one of UPS's largest customers. Um, one nice part too is, you know, if you're currently UPS customer, they have two, two main systems they use, UPS.com uh, and WorldShip. If you're FedEx, you've got FedEx.com. Uh, for UPS, we do have our, our own uh, website, Unishippers.com, where you can do everything that you, you need to do for UPS right in our, our, our website. Print labels, get quotes, track shipments, everything like that. In my view, and a lot of feedback we get is, you know, our website very easy to use because it's it's built for small businesses. UPS.com, WorldShip, those are generic programs that are built for the masses. Um, so, you know, you're using possibly the same system that Apple and Target use. Um, a lot of times, you know, you as a small business, you've got different needs, or or you need to be able to navigate through things smoother. Uh, so our website is, is very easy to use, but if you are using UPS.com or WorldShip and that's what you're comfortable with, you don't need to change. All we do is plug your new UPS Unishippers account number into your program, UPS.com or WorldShip, uh, and off you go. The one thing and disclaimer I will say on that though is if you use UPS.com or WorldShip, it will not show you your Unishippers discounted price. Uh, because again, we're tied in a little bit, but this is our own website. So if you're looking to quote to do a job or send a quote to a customer and, and get an idea of what your shipping cost is going to be, um, you know, unishippers.com is the best way to do that. In this screenshot, what's nice too is, you know, it breaks down every service level. So once you put in all the information and you can see on this slide on the right, uh, you can see what your discounted price is going to be for every service level available from, from UPS. So if you're shipping at ground, but it takes four days to get there and you're really in a rush, you can see instantly what your third day air price would be. Um, you know, and then you can make a business decision. Hey, do you want to save a day by sending an air uh, over just the, the ground network? Uh, but what's nice again is it's really consolidated right so that you can see everything. This is really a, a nice little uh, screenshot of our homepage where you can see um, you know, on the top left, we have LTL Quick Quote or UPS. Uh, we do LTL as well, and I'll get to that uh, a little bit later. Uh, but just sticking with the UPS, if you look on the right under UPS shipping, there's really just two main links, get a UPS price quote and prepare a shipment. Those are pretty much the two links that you use exclusively and they, they get you right to where you need, either just to get a quick quote or to, to process and create a label for a shipment. And what's nice is on your dashboard, under recent shipments, you can get a real quick look at everything that's going on. So if you print the label, it will say for status printed. When it's in transit, it'll say in transit, and of course delivered, it'll say delivered. Keep in mind, this isn't UPS's site. We are plugged into them a little bit, but it's not real time. So if you send out a shipment and the UPS driver picks it up at three o'clock, you log in at five o'clock, don't expect that it'll stay in transit. It might, but again, you know, we're, we're not totally tied into UPS's system. We wait for our downloads. Uh, so there's a little bit of the delay. There are other ways under shipment history to get a, a more real time view of the shipment, but it's great to be able to just log in, look on the dashboard and get a good snapshot of everything you've got going on for your shipments. Uh, UPS, obviously the largest uh, package delivery company in the world. Um, you know, by the numbers, they just won world's most admired companies uh, for logistics company. Uh, they do, you know, a little over now 5.5 billion packages a year. Um, they've got a larger network, larger fleet. One thing I like to bring up too is, you know, we're tied in with Ship Matrix, which is uh, it's like a third party logistics tracker. Um, the Wall Street Journal had just done a an article, um, you know, which, which we do have, that talked about Ship Matrix. They pulled the numbers as far as on time delivery from March through mid April. FedEx Ground delivered eighty percent of their shipments on time, where ninety five percent was for UPS. Uh, so out of hundred packages sent, that equates to thirteen failures for FedEx compared to five for UPS. 
uh, FedEx was 160% higher than UPS. So the reliability is really there when it comes to UPS. Um, you know, there's always a human element, there's weather, there's always things that are beyond people's control. So look, there's, it's never going to be 100%, but what UPS is consistently doing is, is beating FedEx with on-time delivery, anywhere from five to eight to 10 points, uh, percentage points, especially coming out of COVID, things like that. Uh, if some of you are FedEx shippers or remember back in Christmas time, Amazon actually discontinued using FedEx Brown to deliver packages because they're on time delivery just plummeted. So, um, you know, again, UPS, it's, it's the number one shipping company in the world. Um, we have all three shipping options through UPS. We can handle anything ground express, which is next day, two day, third day air. Uh, and we can handle UPS international shipments. Well, one thing I want to bring up to um, you know many many people I work with have e-commerce stores uh, we as unit shippers we do have relationships with and tie into uh, many many e-commerce type systems like ShipStation um, you know it, it's a great way if you have an e-commerce store and you're using on your back end ShipStation ShipHawk PaceJet uh, go ship out. I mean, there's hundreds. We do tie into just about all of them just to make the, the shipping seamless so that when your e commerce order comes in through your website and gets downloaded into, let's say, ShipStation, you can select, you can put in your UPS unit shipper's account number, select that, print your label right through there. You don't have to use, you know, unishippers.com. Uh, you know, it will show discounts, things of that nature. So, um, just one of those disclaimers that if you do have e-commerce, uh, we can plug into most backend systems. As far as pickup options go, these are the different pickups that UPS offers. Uh, the smart pickup is a really good one, especially if you don't need daily pickup. Smart pickup is basically, it's a little bit cheaper than what daily pickup is. Um, and basically if you print a label, and you just click, you know, schedule the part smart pickup, that will signal the terminal to set a driver to your location. They won't come unless you ask them to come. It could be two days that week. It could be all five days. You know, they'll come as many times as you want. Uh, and it's for typically direct with UPS. It's, it's a, a flat fee. Um, I believe it's about 1650. One thing that we are doing too, and we're able to pass along uh, with, with promo companies is uh, a free smart pickup. So that'll save you an extra $16 a week. And if your current situation has you driving to a UPS store or driving to a UPS drop box to drop off packages, you of course can always still continue to do that. But you know, we can save you some time by you know getting you on a, on a smart pickup. Uh, that way the driver will come right to your door. Uh, so that's a great little perk that we're able to offer. Uh, they do again have uh, daily pickup. Uh, or on call if you just ship sporadically, maybe once every couple of weeks. Um, it's $7.95 for same day pickup. I believe it's a dollar cheaper if you schedule 24 hours in advance. But there are a lot of different pickup options to make it convenient for you in your business. These are the different uh, service levels for, for UPS. Um, you know, they obviously have next day, next day, early AM two day, three day, and then ground. The one thing to bring up regarding ground. So, you know, last year and even still here in the 2021 coming out of the pandemic, um, there is still capacity crunches in certain areas. There's, they're shipping more than ever right now. Now that some brick and mortars are coming back online, e-commerce has slowed down a little bit. They're catching up. But one thing UPS had done in 2020 is I don't remember the exact number, but it was well into the millions that they put into the ground network. What they're going to be doing over the next year or so, they've already started rolling it out more on the West Coast, but they've really been adding improvements to their ground network and cutting down on transit days. Uh, again, we, we see more of this right now, more on the West Coast, west of the Mississippi River. But you know, things that have traditionally taken three days to get their ground uh, are now taking two. Again, this is going to be very long to roll out across the entire UPS network and all their terminals. 
um, but they have invested a lot of time and money into improving their transit days. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if there's usually UPS and FedEx mirror each other, but uh, we may be able to get to a package to its destination a day quicker. Uh, so just one thing I want to mention. But again, you have all the service levels and these are the delivery times for that service level. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, there's really two sides of, of Unishippers. We have our relationship with UPS on small package. Uh, the other half of Unishippers is uh, we're the second largest buyer of LTL freight in the country. Uh, we do well over a billion dollars a year with 65 uh, common carriers. We really work with a lot of regional and national carriers. Most trucks and pallet shipments that you see or you may receive, whatever carrier is carrying that, chances are pretty good we have a relationship and a partnership with that carrier. Um, you know, one nice thing having that LTL component really makes us that one-stop shop for you. Uh, now with, you know, the pandemic easing a little bit, uh, I have seen a lot of promo members uh, start to pick up on shipping. They're trying to catch up on things. You have corporate customers who are making large orders for, you know, they may have 500 employees that they're trying to get t-shirts or whatever the case is. So I have seen a lot of promo small businesses actually look and inquire about LTL because it could be a very cost effective way to ship a large amount. Um, you know, we can drop ship to a customer from your vendor. We can get it from your facility to the customer. However, which way you need it shipped, we can accommodate that. Uh, and it may be cheaper because if you're going to be sending out, let's say a thousand t-shirts, um, or even coffee mugs is a better example because it's heavy. You know, if those, those thousand coffee mugs are going to have to go in 30 boxes for UPS, you're going to have a, a charge for each box. Keep in mind anything over 50 and a half pounds with UPS does get an additional handling charge for weight. So when you're looking at the overall weight of the shipment, if you're into the two, three, four hundred pounds worth of product you're shipping, LTL is a great way to go. Um, again, we've got a variety of carriers who can do residential delivery. They can have lift gates uh, on their trucks so that if you're not going to a, a manufacturer, for instance, you're sending it to a, a business office that doesn't have shipping docks. Uh, again, we can we can help with any of that. Um, or if you just want to look at what the price would be either way, we can tell you what the price would be with your discount for UPS, but also tell you what your discounted price would be with an LTL carrier and let you make the best business decision for your business. Uh, we, we are completely a one-stop shop. So here's on the LTL side of Unishippers.com. Uh, and when you plug in the parameters, so in this instance, this was a, a shipment coming out of Salt Lake City, Utah, going to California, 364 pounds. Our rating system will show all of our carriers that we partner with that handle that lane and what your discounted price would be. We always have the cheapest carrier on top. So for example, in this instance, R&L Carriers, a great, great carrier. Uh, it came in at 132.62, then SIO is next, UPS Freight, uh, keep in mind, you will not see UPS Freight on the on the system anymore. Uh, UPS did sell that entire division. They are now called T Force. A company out of Canada bought them. Still, UPS uh, Freight and branded trucks. The transition is going to take three to five years. But um, just a quick disclaimer: if you don't, if you like to ship UPS Freight, you're not going to see it great, just because they are no longer UPS Freight. They are T Force. Um, but again, you can pick the carrier you like. You can look at your price and say, hey, I really like Estes. They've done a great job in the past for me. I'm willing to pay $90 more than r &L for that shipment. One thing I want to mention to you, I don't have a slide for it, is we're the only company that can offer underwritten insurance policy for your shipment. So uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is in the LTO world, if you have any damage to your, to your product, all carriers have what they call carrier liability. Carrier liability, it's not insurance. Um, ultimately, what it is is the carrier could take up to six months doing an investigation to see were they at fault for the damage. Now, look, nobody ever likes to take blame for things, stuff like that. They could say that your pallet was wrapped incorrectly. We've seen a ton of different versions that a carrier will say. 
to reject the claim. If they do accept the claim and say, okay, we did cause the damage, uh, carrier liability only covers a fraction of what that shipment costs. They pay what they call is scrap metal price. So you're gonna get pennies on the dollar. So if this is a $10,000 shipment of product for you, you're not gonna recoup anywhere near close to that. And as a small business, that's a, that's a big order. Uh, so what we have through UPS Capital Insurance is we can get a complete underwritten insurance policy for you. Uh, you can insure up to $50,000 of product at your cost, not yourself. Uh, but typically, most people I deal with, their, their shipments are less than $10,000. Um, if you go up to $10,000, it's about $30 flat just to insure up to 10 k It's a great, great safeguard. That way, if anything was to happen to that shipment, regardless of fault, whether it was your vendor, you, if you miss uh, wrap the pallet or the carrier, doesn't matter who's at fault whatsoever. If there's a claim in about three to four weeks, you will get paid out directly uh, by UPS Capital. So, and for the entire amount that you uh, insured. So it, it's a great thing that we offer that nobody else really offers. Uh, really gives you peace of mind. That way you're not losing a, like I said, $10,000 shipment. Um, this is a, you know, another screenshot. You can do everything within unishippers.com for the LTL side, just like UPS creating labels. You can create a bill of lading, you can get quotes, you can convert the quote into a bill of lading. Uh, everything you need is right at your fingertips. Uh, again, we do have our customer service team in Vermont though. We're always willing and able to assist you. Uh, if there's ever a time you, you just don't have time or you don't know some of the class codes, you know, with the LTL shipping, there's a lot of ins and outs that, you know, you as a small business may not ever know about or quite frankly cared too much in the past. Class codes, NMFC numbers, we can handle that for you. You would just send a quick email to our freight team. Uh, say, this is what I'm looking to ship. This is the destination. This is the weight and the size of the pallet. We'll take care of everything for you. Um, you know, we really strive to put time back in your hands by 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 being your, your right arm when it comes to shipping and logistics. But just know that you always have at your fingertips the ability to do everything you need within unishippers.com as well. Uh, you can create daily reports, uh, you know, set up shipping preferences. It's very custom customizable, excuse me. Uh, but also, you know, there's different things that we can do to, to customize even a little bit more. So if you have certain situations, you know, let's talk. Uh, we'll see if we can accommodate that and set up your unishippers.com account specifically to different preferences that you need. Um, you know, we're, we're here. We are on the East Coast. You know, I sit in Connecticut. My team, uh, customer service team is in Vermont. Uh, I don't want any West Coast people, uh, Central Time Zone people to think, hey, we're three hours ahead of you. We're not available. Uh, my customer service email does shut down at 5 p.m. Eastern time, but you know they come in at 7 a.m. in the morning. So even if you sent a late email, chances are they're going to get back to you before you know you really get going in the in the morning. And I'm always available too. Uh, you know all, all my numbers are with We Promo. Um, I, I did have on the on the first slide, which I'll go back to just to uh, show my email again. Um, you know, anything you have, any questions, again, like I mentioned at the very beginning, there's a lot to shipping. There's a lot of different ways we can maybe customize and help and, and save money. Um, you know, definitely reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. What I typically like to do is just demonstrate the savings by doing a cost analysis. You know, if you send me your first couple or your last two uh, UPS or FedEx invoices or your last few LTL invoices, I'll price it out with what your your discount is being a WePromo promo member and show you right apples to apples, black and white. Okay, you ship this pack through the FedEx for $15. You could have done it with UPS for 13. There's your $2 savings. And we could average it out to a year. So, you know, we're very transparent. You know, we tell you exactly where the, the shipping charge comes from, the breakdown of the fuel surcharge, if there's residential delivery area surcharges. You know, on your current UPS and FedEx bill, sometimes those are very hard to understand, or sometimes they have some hidden fees that, you know, they're all initials. So you don't know what those are. 
you know, we do know what those are. We can break those down for you and try to help give you ideas of, of ways to cut down on shipping costs as well. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different things we can help. I'm very happy to do so. Uh, again, on the bottom right, you see my, uh, my email. Uh, my direct line phone number is 860-626-4008. Um, you know, I'd be, be happy to, to help anybody I can. Uh, thanks for joining uh, the, the, the Unit Shippers demonstration today.